difficulties. Well, as I talk with Professor David Flint here, you're watching live pictures coming in from Perth, from Government House Perth, where a state reception is being held on those beautiful grounds there, 3.2 hectares of stunning gardens for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh, who arrived around this time yesterday in Western Australia, have had a busy day in and around Perth and are now enjoying themselves with 1,500 guests or thereabouts, according to our Perth reporter, Andrew O'Connor. And earlier, the Queen visited an Aboriginal college in Perth, and inside she officially opened a new boarding house and was presented with a football, as well as some kangaroo stew to try. The Queen has returned here to Government House in the heart of Perth's CBD after completing the first of her official engagements since arriving in the city late yesterday afternoon. This morning she went to the Clontarf Aboriginal College, a college which runs specialist sporting and education academies for Indigenous boys and girls. Now she was greeted by a crowd of about 500 onlookers who were taking advantage of the much improved weather in Perth today hoping to just get a glance of the monarch as she arrived and there were some very enthusiastic young royal fans among the crowd. I came here because I've never seen the Queen before in my whole entire life and I think it might be really cool to see it in real life. The college focuses exclusively on developing the education and sporting abilities of these young indigenous men and women. The Queen today had the chance to meet some of the current crop of young footballers at Clontarf's Football Academy, as well as seeing some of the girls from the Girls' Academy go through their paces demonstrating their basketball skills. The Queen was able to spend time chatting with the students and actually observe a cooking class where there were some very Australian dishes on the menu, kangaroo stew and scones, and in fact she was presented with a gift-wrapped serving. She also had the chance, as she was walking around the college, to see an Aboriginal dance troupe in action and concluded her visit by being presented with flowers from two Year 11 students, Dulcy Ryder and Tyson Cox. Prince Philip, for his part, spent the morning inspecting the latest high-tech mining exploration equipment being developed as part of a partnership between mining company Rio Tinto and the University of Western Australia. The Queen was farewelled as she left by students from the Clontarf Academy and by well-wishers outside as her motorcade left and made its way back across the city to Government House.